Hey yo, what's poppin' guys? It's your boy Fizzle the Hizzle, aka Ben here, bringing you guys the OLT Harmony Division Season 5, I think. Finals, um, probably Season 6, something like that. But uh, yeah, I'm enjoying the finals for yet another league. Looking to not choke this one. I did upload this for like three weeks and then I stopped because um, I roll shit, you know. So yeah, um, I'm here against Jay, um, a very good battler. He definitely um, deserved to be in finals. He has a terrifying team, man. Just. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, I'm gonna go over it really quickly. I did play him in the regular season in week 10. Um, I'll join the lobby chat again to challenge him. Um, but he has a ho -Oh. He has three ubers, dude. ho -Oh, Dark Run, Deoxys. Like, how do, you, how do you let that happen, bro? And he has a Nido King, Agron, Lycanroc, Latios, Whimsicott, and Blissey. And the six that he brought last time is a Life Orb ho -Oh, so like an offensive ho -Oh. A Dark Rye, which I have no idea what kind of Dark I said it was. Um, I'm assuming a Life Orb Nido King, Psycho, Psycho Boost, Deoxys Defense, which is kind of, kind of interesting. A Mega Agron and a Scarf Audio. So, uh, um, yeah, that was his six that he brought last time. I'm gonna go over my team just a bit so I don't John him too much. Um, I have left leftovers. I have a Life Orb uh, Manchow, um, High Jump Kick, U-Turn, Knock Off, Rock Slide. This outspeeds. Um, what is that speed? It outspeeds max speed of Ho-Oh and the Nido King, so that's really good. Um, just really good damage. I didn't need a Reckless um, for High Jump Kick. And Regenerator, I'm not bringing Defog, so getting health back with U-Turn and Life Orb, uh, Hazards and Life Orb, shit, that shit. <laughs> that's gonna be really good for me. We have an SD, Snake, Player Up, Claw, Life Orb, Mimikyu, standard stuff. Uh, I hit the Life Orb number with my HP. Um, kind of breaks this team and can be a nice win con in the late game, so that could be Potentially useful and next up I have a physical swell. I know he has a mega Agron, but once Agron goes down this thing kind of goes ham and I really wanted priority and I haven't brought physical swallow all season so this might catch him off guard. Protect you turn facade quick attack. That's all I need. Um, speed ties a dark rye. Um, Mana Fee, it's really bulky. It can one shot Nido King at neutral Z Surf and outspeeds Adamant Max Speed ho -Oh. And uh, of course, I'm bringing the same set. Z Rain Dance is not going to be a win con because he's he's going to bring lore on several things. So I don't expect that set to win, but it's really good to break down his um, Agron. I can just go for Surfs on that to whittle down for Swallow. Lumberry and Swine. I brought the same set or a very similar set last time. Um, Lumberry and Thick Fat. So I don't get burned by Sacred Fire, and I do KO with Rock Slide into Ice Shard. So that's really good for me. And Choice Scarf Genesect. You turn Iron Head, return Flamethrower. Flamethrower just for the Mega Agron. This outspeeds like max max speed choice guard polo if that ever comes. I don't really see it coming. And return is just a really good like middle ground play because you turn Iron Head Flamethrower is really all I need to do damage to this team. And return is really good in case he wants to switch in like something like a defensive polo. It takes really good damage from it and I do get the, the attack boost on Ho because it has really good speed up. So that's really good for me and I get the boost basically all the time. And not gonna lie, I'm really worried about this matchup. Um, he has so many good Pokemon. It was so tough. And in Mox, it was incredibly awful to prepare for. And, um, yeah, man, as I find my team. Where the fuck did it go? Oh, uh, there it is. <sighs> Let's get right into it, man. Um, I really don't want to lose four finals in a row, man. That's gonna, it's gonna hurt my soul, you know. And uh, picking up a second ship will be very good for me. And please don't bring big things. I indeed did bring big things. Um, have fun. No good luck, of course, because I'm the only one that needs the luck here. And uh, I'm sorry for lag if that does happen. Um, so yeah, I'm going to link. Uh, actually, he's going to link because Discord is lagging. Can you link? Yeah, I'm going to close Discord because that's not for me, bud. That's not for me. <laughs> And, uh, quit this core. There we go. Now quality of things should be not garbage. Um, has a ho -Oh, Darkrai, Agron, Lycanroc, the Deoxys, and the Latios. So, unfortunately, Swallow doesn't look like it will do anything this matchup. Um, he did bring, like, everything I expected him to. Um, Scarf Lottie is a good bring. One thing that destroyed me in Mox is a modest Scarf. Um, Modest Scarf, Dark Riot, that thing's terrifying. It just bodies my team. And I have no Dark Resist, except for Mian Chao, which does take two Dark Pulses, but I don't really want that to happen. And, um, yeah, man. He brought a scary team. No Blissey, thank God, because, um, Blissey over Lycanroc would be tough for Manaphy to win late game. 
but that's fine. I prepared for everything, I feel like, but uh, killing ho and Darkrai and, and his three Ubers are just retarded. It's just so hard. Um, so I'm going to do my best, of course. Hopefully I can give you guys a good battle here. Um, so in terms of my lead, I like the fact that I can lead a Genesect, but he could very well lead with the Agron just to get up rocks because he did do that last time. And I don't have removal, of course, so that's going to be a problem. He could also lead with his Deoxys to get up rocks, which has a better matchup against things like the Mianxiao. But I think I might just lead a Mianxiao. I don't think he ever leads the Latios. And I outspeed everything on his team except for Darkrai, uh, Lycanroc, and Latios. Like, I just don't see him ever leading with, like, Latios or Darkrai. Um, he, if, if he leads Lycanroc, it doesn't really do much to my Mianxiao. And I can pivot out. Force um, this thing out with the high jump kick because this can be doing damage even if it's not reckless. And high jump kick is pretty free against his team. I get intel on what kind of sets he is. And if he leads with the Deoxys, I can U turn out anyway. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, he leads off with the Aggron, so that's really good for me. Um, I don't know if I want to go straight for the high jump kick yet because this thing's a really good breaker. Um, I didn't need to do that. This thing is a really good breaker late game so high jump kick never kills unless I'm reckless he may think that I'm reckless but um, he may also have like protect or something which would be uber bad but I think he's gonna be like way more speed def if I'm reckless do I kill because he could be calculating that reckless doesn't kill but heavy slam doesn't oh heavy slam does kill Ooh, I think I'm gonna U-turn out <laughs> definitely gonna U-turn out um because I don't want to risk him having like protect or anything. And I don't want to die to a heavy slam. If he does go for a heavy slam here, which I think is his play all the time. If he does stay in, he's going to heavy slam. So that he can just kill my Manchar right off the bat. Because I could potentially be Scarf for the Darkrai. Or we could potentially switch out into something like Ho oh, well, I can get Intel on that. Same thing with Deoxys. So I'm going to U-turn here. Safest play for me. And he does stay in. Which is fine by me. I get really good damage on this thing. You see the life orb. Um, he's definitely max HP. So... That's the thing. If I get rid of this thing, it's going to be really good for my solo late game. And he does not have the best water, like, his best water resist, or his only water resist is Eladios. So, I think going Manaphy here is just my best play. Just straight up honest. I think going into that is my best play. He does not bring the Nido King, which is really good for me. So, I can just fire off my Z, like, really freely here. And if he does decide to switch out into Lottie, he doesn't really, he doesn't really, um kill me with anything and I think U-turn was always my play because if he was max HP which I did expect it to be like it always was a high jump kick and kills with the heavy slam. I think Manaphy is always a play. I don't think I ever set up in front of this thing because this thing is definitely going to carry roar. Um, he goes for Iron Head and gets a crit which really sucks because any extra chip on Manaphy is going to be it's impossible to get back actually so um, Hydro Vortex is doing 54 to 64 to a very spadef Agron. And either way, like, Latios doesn't really want to take this either. And if he switches in something like Darkrai, he doesn't kill me with anything unless he's like Specs. And if he's Specs, I get really good intel. Um, yeah, Hydro Vortex is 33 to 40 on Latios, and I can fire off a nice beam after that. Um, Darkrai doesn't really want to take this well either. Or doesn't take it at all. Oh, it, it dies depending on investment. It's a roll to kill, actually. I was just a little more special attack, but it's fine. I might just regular surf here, but I don't think that's ever the play. Hmm. If I get rid of Agron, though, I think this going for my Z surf here is just the best possible play for me. Because he's going to roll here no matter what, right? He's definitely going to roll here. Like, 100%, dude. 100%. I might go for the Surf first. Hopefully he, like... No, I need I need the Z-Surf here, I think. He goes for the Z-Surf. Or I go for the Z-Surf. He's probably going to go for the Roar here. That's a 74, which is really good for me. Get that thing really chipped. And, of course, he sends me into the thing that hard is, that, get hard, that gets hard-walled by the Aggron. So, that's really good for me. I got Agron chipped, which is phenomenal. Shadow Claw does look... It's a roll to kill, which... I want to keep the... 
I really want to keep the disguise on this thing, just for something like Darkrai and Latios. I don't want, I want to keep my disguise. So he could easily get up Rax here. I don't know if I want to allow that though. What's more, what's more devastating to me? Like, rocks are big in the fact that it chips out of my Manaphy, and Swallow is kind of dead weight. It's the most expendable thing on my team since he has a Lycan Rock in the back. And, um... Lycan, Sash Lycan Rock is also a pretty scary bring. But I feel like he either goes for the rocks or stays in and breaks my sub. And I think Manaphy covers both of those. And I threaten it out. So I think I'm gonna go Manaphy. I don't want my disguise to be broken. Hopefully he does go for the Iron Head, and he, he does not get rocks up on his side. So that's really good for me. That's like really good for me. Um, I kind of do want to see if Ice Beam kills at this range, which hopefully it does. Um, that was in a very... it took 74 from um, Z... Z Sir. Is it like... it's like... It's max HP with attack investment then, right? I need a Surf here though, for sure. I can't... He goes into Deoxys. This... I don't know if this is a Zemon actually. I'm gonna check on my doc real quick. Harmony, yeah, season four. Harmony season four, that's what it is. For show. J, Z, Ho, and Z Darkrai. Oh, great. He could also be Z Darkrai, maybe that's what he brought last time. Um, I was close to setting up, but it wasn't worth it if he went for lore or something. And hopefully my frames don't act like garbage. The best he can do to me is like T-Wave or something, right? But if I break this down as well... Like, nothing he can go for can kill me, right? Like, Thunderbolt? I'm, just, I'm assuming he gets Thunderbolt. He gets a bunch of coverage moves. I'm being ultra safe about this. I really want to win. Thunderbolt... Yeah, has higher. Well, it doesn't have higher than Deoxys defense with Thunderbolt. Come at me. I'm like really bulky, so I imagine I can live every hit from this thing. If he goes for a T wave, yeah, I can live like every hit from this thing. And, um. Plus 3 surf damages this thing pretty well. It does 62 to 74, puts it in range of a lot. So I'm gonna go for the tail glow. If he goes for like Psych Up or something, that's fine. If he goes for Taunt, which is good for me, like really good for me. Like actually phenomenal for me. He does not outspeed my uh, mana feet, which is what he thought. He has a lot of speed then. I think I go for Ice Beam here regardless of anything. Because just max HP doesn't die to the thing. And if I can catch like anything else off guard with like the Ice Beam, like especially the Latios, it can't kill me from this range as well, so that's a problem. But I have like lots of priority on my team, so I think Surf is always a play. I just have so much priority on my team. I need to surf. I want an Ice Beam here. Um, it doesn't kill, so he's to death. He's Aya Papa as well. So he goes for Mirror Coat and bots me. Ouch. Good prep. It's pretty flames. <laughs> I didn't know I got a Mirror Coat, bro. Shit. Shit. He goes for Taunt Mirror Coat. He has to have like a Psychic move, right? Does he get Counter? Does he get countered by any chance? Of? Hopefully he doesn't, dude. He does get countered. Oh, fuck. He's very spadef, though. Or at least he revealed to be. So, Genesect at plus one should be able to kill this Deoxys. Hopefully. Oh, um, it's a roll to kill. Oh my lord. <laughs> Bro, chill. What is the problem, honey? I kind of just need to go Mimikyu and Shadow Claw twice. Because this should two-shot, right? Yeah, it does two-shot. I'm going to go Mimikyu. He can't really do much to me. Agron is weakened, so that's really good. The thing is, I lose my Disguise, which really sucks. But if he has Counter, Taunt, Miracoat, Counter. I'm going to Scream. And if he can't, obviously go for counter. Actually, if I go into Genesect and then switch into Mimikyu on the counter, um, that's perfectly fine by me. And yeah, 
I'm gonna U-turn and then go into Mimikyu on the counter, except we just kill it straight up anyway, so that's really good for me. Uh, one less uh, Mim Mimikyu. Nian Chao check. So that's really good for me. I really want to go Mamoswine here, because nothing he goes for on his team except for like Focus Blast, Dark Ride can kill me. And like heavy, yeah, even like Agron doesn't want to do things. And I want to keep this disguise around. But I am also liking the fact that I can go Mian Shao here. Mian Shao, or if I go Mamo, forces the Dark Rye in. And I can scout out what kind of set it has. And I want to get up Rock. So I think that's going to be the game plan. And if he goes, and if he just goes into the Ho-Ho, um, I can Rock Slide it. And I can never be burned because of Lum. And I'm thick fat, so I should take like everything. But I really want to set up rocks in case he's like Sash Lycanroc. And just a little down the ho -oh. He got rid of the Deoxys, which is really good for me. I was scared he would have counter, and I would have to make a couple gross plays going to Mimikyu. Oh, Miracle, man. He goes to Lycanroc. Do I die? He's not in Z Lycanroc either. But I do want to get up rocks. I really do. Hmm. I don't have a good switch into this, especially. I'm surprised he brought Lake Rock in the first place because, like. Because Red Rock walls. Or he brought Lake Rock because Red Rock walls. That's crazy. I really want to get a box, though. Like, he can't kill me with anything. Unless he's. banded? No, even Banded. Banded Crit is the only way he can kill me. But I think Earthquake is always the play. So if he goes into anything else, it takes a ton, and I break the potential Sash on this thing. But if he has a fighting move, like, what does he get with? Super Power, Brick Break? I don't know. I don't get Brick Break, so. I think Earthquake is always my play, because I can set up Rocks so later. And I want to break the Sash on this thing. Actually, I'm gonna go for rocks here because if he goes for like SD, I'm gonna I charge the next turn to break the sash and put in range of like something like Manchow or Genesect. So I'm gonna go for rocks this turn. He goes for Stone Edge. She is banded, so that's really good for me to know. So getting up rocks was definitely worth it for me. Um, that was a weird play thing, and uh, and just going for Stone Edge when I definitely killed. I mean that, that obviously worked out for him. Mian Chao definitely gets two shot, right? I might just make the Mian Chao play. Two Stone Edges kills. That's the thing. But he has to hit Stone Edges. He could also be Adam. Yeah. He's not like Orbs. I think he's definitely banded. I want to keep this around until I started that, though. But I do have... Actually, does Ice Shard? I could potentially seal the deal. I don't want to get too ahead of myself. Ice Shard, Mammo, does that put it in range of a plus two Shadow Sneak of Min from Mimikyu? This is 38. Oh, that's a out. Oh, yikes. I could potentially be in a really good position. 64. If I Ice Shard. 95 very minimum at the very minimum and if he misses that's good for me i'm gonna ice shard here get really good chip and he he hits a stone edge so it would be great for me to to uh you know get that dodge but that's fine i think plus two mimic you could kill i don't want him to break my sash either Or I could just go Mian Shao, actually. Or Genesect, because I outspeed everything. I do reveal that I've Scarfed it, though. And I think it's worth it to keep the disguise on Mimikyu, actually.
He turned up and killed him. Yeah, I don't want to take damage on Manchow for no reason either. I think Genesex might play, because I don't want to break the disguise on that thing yet. For just for Darkrai and Latios. So I'm gonna go into Genesect reveal my scarf. Does Ho get like any setup? He gets like Calm Mind, right? Yeah, he gets Calm Mind. But that's fine by me. If he goes for Calm Mind in front of my Iron Head. I just have to play my sacks correctly. So I'm just gonna go for the Iron Head. He sacks off the Aggron. So now he has no Mimikyu checks, which was a, it was a correct play to sack Aggron for sure. And it was smart of him to keep the Lycan Rock around. Just, just for Excel Rock. Because he knows. This tells me that he might not be Scarf Latios then. Because he might be concerned about Swallow just beating him with like Boom Burst. Because this gives him a resist, and maybe this isn't Scarf. So he gets his like really bulky Pokemon down. He doesn't have rocks up on his end, which is really good for me. So Swallow can actually do things. And I'm like 100% sure Ho doesn't die to an Iron Head from here. Uh oh, if he's like really big. If he's really big. If he's really fat, then he doesn't die. It doesn't die anyway. I don't want him to loose up. That's the thing. Genesect is a really good win combo again, because Solo doesn't do much for me though. It gives me good shift against everything. And I speed to the Dark Rai. Does Minchow have to go now? Minchow doesn't do much for me. Do I live like a sacred fire by any chance? Depending on the investment, I can. But if he gets a burn. And I get to see what set he is. If he wants to go for Roost, I kill him with Rock Slide. Unless he's like Charty, and even so, I break that. He has to have a good amount of defense. I think going. Yanchar doesn't really do much for him. He gives me a Rock Resist. And I can take a single hit from Lycanroc. I don't have Drain Punch either, so I can't get any health back. That's why I have Regenerator. The thing is, if he Roost here, it can sit in front of my Mimikyu. And I want to punish the Roost. If it's at low health... I'm really thinking about this, bro. I really want to win. I really want to win. He doesn't show lefty, bro. I might go into Mianchao. On the option that he Roost here, I think Roost is a correct play in this scenario. Because he can't stay at this range forever. And if he doesn't Roost, it makes it so that he can't run you on the Mimikyu. So I think Roost is always his play here. And even if he goes for Sacred Flare, or Secret, whatever, he misses that. But that's pretty big for him. Because it makes it so that, um, it's also big for me too. I mean, it's huge, by the way. I have a full health this. Now nothing exactly wants to take this. Unless he's like Scarf. He could be Skip. He could be Scarf. It definitely sucked because Sacred Fire plus Burn killed. But I think this is always my play regardless. I mean, he hit two Stone Edges, but I'm not going to I'm not gonna fucking, fucking over it like that. I guess go for Rock Slide. If he switches out... I think Rock Slide is always my play, and we do hit the Rock Slide. So we get the Holo down, which is really good for me. That's really big for me. He's gonna go for a Psychic type move. I don't need this thing. Like, at all. So I'm fine just to go for the knockoff here. He can kill me. Go for Psy Shock or Psychic. He doesn't reveal Life Orb. So this tells me that he's really um, Scarf. Like really likely Scarf. And Manchow didn't do anything the rest of the game anyway because it did give me a Rock Resist. 
but it gets us fed by these this thing these things but actually like Mimikyu can't win just yet but either way I go into Genesect because I'm Scarfed I always take a Psychic so I just go Genesect and U-turn I get a tag boost nothing kills me and if he's not Scarfed then I U-turn and I kill it well if it decides to stay and I kill it he has to sack something here. I think I'm in a really good. I'm yeah. I think I'm in a really good position. Yeah, that Deoxys set caught me off guard. It was really good for me because it broke down the Agron, which is all I really needed to do. Which is all that I needed to do for Mimikyu to just win. I think he's placed to sack something else. Yeah, he has to sack something else. Because otherwise he doesn't really... I don't know, he's in a really tough position. If he gets rid of Lycanroc... Hmm. He's in a really bad position. Like, the Sacred Fire Mist really put him in that position. But I think my play after that... What was my gonna be? What was my play after that? If I died to Sacred Fire, he didn't show leftovers, so I could assume he was Life Orb, which really sucked. I mean, Axe is a win con. I'm just trying to think. What would have I? What would I have done if I died? Plus one, plus one return should kill Hello oh, from that range anyway. So the thing is, like, I don't die if he's Life Orb. He's Scarf, okay. I think now what I do is just I go Mimikyu. Like, I have to go Mimikyu. I'm not gonna sack my other thing. And he's kind of for- he goes into Dark Ride. Interesting. Do I live a banded- the thing is, do I live a banded like in Rock hit with Genesect? Because he's for sure banded. That's all it comes down to. If I can live an Excel Rock hit from... Or if I can live an Excel Rock... Does 50 max. Oh, that's, that's Life Orb. Banned. 57. Don't click it. I'm at 70. If he's adamant. He never kills me with an Excel Rock. Max damage is 63.6. And he doesn't have rocks up. So I think player off is always my play, but I could play it safe if I miss the player off. But what is no? I need to play off here always. He goes for hypnosis, which really sucks. Oh boy. At least I'm scarfed. He hit that boy too. Hey, first turn wake up. Hey, clutch. I wish I uh, you know. Didn't do that. Then. You get the first turn to wake up. <laughs> That's really good for me. I'm getting a little lucky, but. That secret fire miss really sucks. I think the safer play was just to go for player off. <laughs> Does he kill me with the dark pulse? He doesn't. He goes for Z here, which is terrifying. But at this range, I know he's not Scarf now though. 308, I always win with uh... The only way I lose in this scenario, if he has like Quick Attack Darkrai, does it even get any form of priority? I'm gonna check every single one of its moves to check if it has priority. Because priority on this thing, oh, he has quick attack. Oh, dude, is he gonna bring quick attack? I definitely died with Swallow, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh he's not like that. Dark Pulse is a roll to kill.
But like, if he has any form of priority on Dark Rai, I lose. Hypnosis Dark Pulse. What does he need to hit my team? Need to hit my team. Psychic. Or recover should have hit the Mian Shao. Like, if he has Quick Attack on his Dark Rai, I just actually just lose again. Which is really troubling. He brought Miracle already, so. Oh my god, yo, chill with the construction. I'm sorry for johnning the battle, but this is terrifying. If he has quick attack, I just lose. He needs Thunderbolt, Psychic. Yeah, I don't think he... No way he has room for quick attack. I just don't believe it. Please, Jay. Okay, I think we win the game. The only way I win now is if he crits my Genesect with like a mock. And that's the only way he ever wins this game. Alright, I'm just gonna check the I mean my play I don't I only have one play here. Excel Rock. Oh that's like rock in my Lycan Rock. That might have been a ch I mean either way I lose to a crit Excel Rock. Choice because he never killed me. Choice banded Jolly Adamant to a Genesect with etc. I'm minus defense too, but either, e even so, like 54 to 63 is the calc. 54 to 63 is the calc. I am at 70 with my Genesect. But that shouldn't kill this thing anyway. He has to go for Excel Rock. Okay. The only way he wins this game is if he crit Excel Rocks, okay? The only way I lose this game and lose another finals, and the only way I ever lose this game is if he crits me. I have to Iron Head. Oh my god. GG. Oh my god. I was like so worried about that happening. Um, GG to Jay, man. Um, he played well. Dude, that Sacred Fire Mist was pretty big. Because it just preserved a lot of health on Mian Chao And it ended up killing the ho -Oh. So that's, that's really big for him. And um, yeah, that kind of sucked for him. But... He had a good run, man. He had a crazy team. He drafted really well. Um, dude, we won our second championship ever. <sighs> Finally. We have a championship other than DCDL. It's pretty dope. But uh, yeah, we're now 2 and 3. Yeah, 2 and 3 in finals. Get our second shit, man. And your Tampa Bay Boizel, your boy, Fizzle, is the Harmony Season 4 ch champion of the OLT. I might be back next season, man. I love I love the league, I love the people, and Reese is a great commissioner. And uh, next season isn't gonna start until like March or so. So uh, yeah, man, um, I'm probably not gonna upload that either. But uh, yeah, man, show some love on the like button, bro. Show some love on the subscribe button for your Tampa Bay Weasels finally getting another ship. Um, hopefully the video wasn't too laggy. I see you skipped frames, but hopefully it wasn't that bad. <sighs> I'm not going to do season recap either, I don't do that for non-upload leagues, but um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Thank you guys so much for watching, it means the world to me, and like always, have a swell day. Peace.